Hi everybody, I'm Jen from Pixelscapes.com. I am painting my way through the Dungeons and Dragons monster manual. Uh, and today I have, uh, not a monster, but they can still hurt people, uh, fungi. In this case, they are toxic mushrooms, which glow, of course, because it's me. Uh, so first things first, I have my sped up sketch. This will take a minute. So it's tough to do, you know, perspective on ovals. So I did just one and then kind of used it as a, as a guide to freehand the rest. And, and it worked pretty well. Um, the two little mushrooms on the side, of course, are curling around the edge. Um, set them up with their stems. Just the stems a little boring though. So I do end up, uh, first adding ribs or gills. That's what they're called. Um, and then little skirts. So here are the little skirts with ruffles. Some mushrooms have this. this these, uh, these are modeled after toxic mushrooms that live in the Pacific Northwest. Super toxic. Because why else would they be in the monster manual with a stat block? Okay. Uh, and now here's my painting video. This is five minutes. So I really wanted these caps to have like a dimensionality to them with texture. It doesn't have to be iridescent, although you know I love iridescence, but um, I did use the, uh, the 3D functions to sort of get it the way I want with underlighting. So I tried doing circles because that's, you know, kind of traditional for mushrooms to have dots, but um, I think I ended up abandoning that. There we go. So it's sort of shaded on top with the purple and cyan. I wanted a highlight, but not too much of a highlight. And then I kept monkeying with the texture to see just what I wanted it to be. And then I finally decided that this texture would give me like a little bit of a warty look, which is what I was looking for. I fine-tuned it, and then uh, here we go. So uh, that sort of uh, gives me my color scheme. So, and I, and I made it brighter. So all my glows are going to be um, pink, tending into red. Now I tried it with this like white in the middle, but it ended up giving it a softer look as opposed to a brighter look. So I think I ended up undoing that. Uh, but meanwhile, I'm shading my stems and that's a little tricky because they're all different widths. So I can't just, I had to sort of do them in sets, the bigger ones and then the smaller ones and then even smaller ones. Uh, basically just have the cyan on one side and the purple on the other. There we go. And then the last, last but not least, little tiny ones. Right. And these skirts, of course, they're going to be pink on the edges, but I want them to kind of blend into the stems at the top. So, and then I got rid of the white glows because it was too much. I do like the red ribs on top though. Like they're a little hard to see, but it's a nice color combo and gives you a really good contrast to that, that sort of teal from the mushroom caps. So then it's time to make everything glow. Same with the skirts. And then I edited that because the top of the skirt shouldn't glow as much. Okay. I wonder how big these mushrooms are. You're seeing the underside of the cap, but the upper side of the skirt, perspective-wise, so I'm guessing that means they're about eight feet tall. That's my theory. You're just going by perspective. Uh, and they're in the underdark, so, and of course they're glowing, so I had to make the background nice and dark. 
Um, but the outer ring, of course, I can give this neat, you know, under lighting. Okay, adding a little texture to the outer ring and the background. Still monkeying with my color. All right. And then I tried to add a shadow to the to the ribs just a little. I wasn't really happy with it. So I backed it way off. Okay. So line colors. Green at the bottom of the token ring. Red at the top. The stems, of course, have this like purple. Uh, and then let's see. Okay, and then the skirts, like I said, I want them to blend in the stems, so they are blue at the top and pink at the bottom. All right, and oh, is it done? Oh, right, I have to do the cap colors too. Need a little teal on the caps on one side and purple on the other side. There we go. All right. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, like I said, you can see more of my work at pixelscapes.com. I also do all my RPG chatter on Twitter at pixelscapes. Uh, definitely come by and say hello. Uh, and uh, thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.